So Silky looking back on last weekend and officially on paper at the moment, three from six, which with a rain affected weekend is a positive return. Do we see it like that? Yeah, a lot of good cricket uh, took place last weekend, actually, surprisingly. I think we all thought it was probably going to be a little bit wetter than what, what it was. Um, a lot of games were affected uh, come the end of the day in terms of Duckworth-Lewis being used to see if results could be played. But I think our part of the county uh, probably saw a little bit less rain than, than most, and therefore most games were able to, to reach a conclusion. Um, so, yeah, uh, quite a positive weekend. It was, you know, as usual, great to get six teams out. It, it's always great when your sixth team win a game as well, which is absolutely superb. Uh, it hasn't happened many times this, this year, but um, it happened on Saturday. So that's great and gives them absolute buoyant going, you know, buoyancy going into uh, this week's game. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good week on reflection. Um, some things went our way, others perhaps haven't or may, might not. Um, so if I make reference there to the first team, there was a game obviously against Potton and let's be honest, you know, Potton beat us up during the game of cricket, but the reality is the game finished at a point in time where we're not quite sure what the outcome should be. There's feelings both ways that it could be an abandoned game. There's feelings that uh, it could have been played and therefore got back onto the pitch and therefore there are feelings from two different clubs as to there should be two different results. Um, it's been looked into at the moment by uh, Weppel and we will wait for the outcome of that one. And a good mix again, we talked about it last week, a good mix of young and old. So we've got some fantastic performances from youngsters like Sam Dunman with the ball and Josh Smith with the bat. And, and again, Rich Bates last week, this week, Trevor Lloyd um, joining the sixth team and keeping that trend of scoring 100 on his return. Yeah, look, I, I, it's great when we see people at both ends of the spectrum doing well, uh, both with bat and ball. And I think we saw that um a lot across this weekend we saw uh even in the ones you know whilst it wasn't a big total that we posted 170 odd you know uh Slady coming in and I know he's in his early 20s now but again he's still one of the youngsters kind of within the team um and to see him score a uh, a good 30 odd not out at the end which poke you know gave us the opportunity to to, to go against Potton in that game uh Josh Smith you know he'll be the first to stick his hand up and say you know for a guy who's got so much talent uh, he's he's been out of touch a little bit recently and uh, to see him bat so confidently and with um he didn't make it difficult for himself on saturday he just seemed to keep it simple um, i went down to the game and 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 i saw a good portion of his knock and he he looked in great form and he looked like the josh smith that we know which actually he followed up last night in in the wallop uh, victory uh with a good 40 odd as well so he looks in good touch um and it's great to see him back scoring some runs uh so you know finishing on that one really with the twos it was a good game of cricket for the twos they they were playing in a bottom of the table uh fixture which was really important for the club especially having come close in previous games that that we haven't been doing so well in uh, or coming out on the wrong end of should I say and it was nice to get over the line there and you know the opening partnership or after after Alex was out but for the first wicket uh, with uh, Tom McLaren and uh, Josh you know them putting on 150 together Tom McLaren scoring a very good 70 and and Josh finished on 136 not out uh you know it enabled us to get to 290 yard and then and then go at them which was great uh some really really good bowling from Nick Crane up front nine overs one for eight uh five maidens in there you know absolutely incredible uh uh Charlotte Phillips yet again bowled superbly five overs one for nine uh in a game where you know they're chasing him and uh you know for for them to have figures like that is you know testament to the skills uh that they showed on the day so uh two's had a cracking win um threes I remember when we were talking about last when we were talking last week in in the kind of the, the weekly roundup we talked about perhaps the threes having a, a more challenging game uh, and we also talked about the fives and sixes having complex games this this week and um, yeah there was two I think if we if we leave it at there was a nine wicket loss and a ten wicket loss uh, it, it perhaps sums up what we potentially thought could happen um, but in saying that there was still some good performances. Um, across that and it, and it was good to see youngsters fight uh, some bowlers walk away with some good figures um, and actually it was it, it's one of those things that you just hope people can learn from um, and uh, you know we go again next week so uh, the fours had a good win um, which was nice uh, you remember we talked about the kind of the pride of Chippenham um, with Chippenham fours versus Allington and so that was a nice fixture where 
our guys bowled superbly. Again, I popped over to see a bit of that and I, I was fortunate that I was able to see the end of the first spells of two of our youngsters, John um, John Rumble. No, he certainly didn't run in and uh, <laughs> all at pace, uh, but his son Jack did. Uh, so Jack uh, Rumble and Jacob Calloway were you know, both opened up and both bowled really, really nicely. Uh, so good to see the two youngsters doing that. And ably assisted by Sam uh, Dunmo, who then kind of run in and five for, or six for uh, very few or five overs, six for 18 or five overs. So, um, yeah, it was it was lovely to see. Joshy Maslin came on in that game as well. Uh, so, you know, it was, a, it was a very young team that beat Allenton, you know, convincingly. And actually, I think across our fours and sixes, you know, th- there was two big wins there for us as well. So as much as we had a couple of heavy defeats, um, there was a couple of big wins too. Um, and it was nice to see, again, another youngster. Um, and that's not Nathan Dunford, uh, but it was Dominic Lysett, his batting partner. Um, you know, one scored 40-odd not out, the other scored 30-odd not out. And it was good to see those two kind of bring home the win for 10 wickets. And you mentioned it earlier about the World Cup one-up. So this, we tend to talk about... Saturday games and round up those six matches, but a good win in the Wiltshire Wallop last night and that with the midweek cricket giving people a, a chance to get out there, maybe find a bit of form, find a bit of nick um, and always positive to finish with a, a win in those two. Yeah, look, I'm, I've always been somebody, and you'll remember this word is when I was captain, the more, the more games of good cricket that people can play, the better they will play on a Saturday. When, when it's the most important cricket um, for those that give their time to do so. And it's when, when we were competitive in those late 2000s, early 2000s, 2007, 8, 9, when again we were competitive in 14, 15, 16, it's because a lot of our players were playing a lot of good cricket. And it just means that when you're coming into the middle on a Saturday or, or taking the ball to bowl a spell, you just feel more comfortable. And therefore we've taken on uh, to get back involved in the wallop this year, which we haven't done for a little while. Um, and we, we we want to go in and we want to be competitive within it. Um, we want to give people the opportunity to bat and bowl. Yes, training's on Thursdays and that's great, uh, but actually playing competitive games of cricket where you put under pressure is so much better for uh, for people's preparation um, for, for important moments on Saturdays. So uh, we lost last week against Caution um, in a game where we bowled superbly and kept them down to 130, but we didn't quite get over the line with the batting. This week, we've gone away at Biddeston and we've had a really good batting performance um, up front with some good knocks, contributions from different people across the team. But again, as I said earlier, Josh Smith had a, had a lovely 48 uh, he finished with. Uh, so that was good. And uh, we bowled superbly, to be fair, um, and, and kept them down. So we ended up winning by, I don't know, 40 odd, 50 odd runs. And it was a, you know, a really good all round performance, good fielding. Um, you know, we've, we've made reference, I think, in these weekly reports about Jeff Purdue before scoring some runs against us. Um, and actually, Jeff Purdue did score some runs against us yesterday. He got a 30, but he also dropped a couple of catches and had a, had a misfield. Uh, so, you know, we'll just pop that one in there. Uh, so that might be one all, I think, uh, with the Jeff Purdue uh, battle going on. Uh, but yeah, it was a good performance. The guys did well. Uh, they're up for it. We've got good teams that are playing week in, week out. And uh, we go again next week away at Caution on the Thursday. Josh, congratulations on the 100 on Saturday and from everything I've heard, it was a beautiful, chanceless knock, so tell us all about it. Well, it was did seem to be my day, to be fair. We, we rocked up and it was like one of the best days, to be honest, raining all morning, not really thinking we were going to play. Then we got on. As soon as we started, it started raining. And then, literally, I just got up there, relaxed. Me and Tom McLaren put on a few. And yeah, the runs kept coming. It's quite nice, to be fair. And not out as well, so it could have, could have been I more. know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice to get all the way through. Yeah, so, yeah, nice day. I'm feeling good. Obviously, went on and scored some runs in the Watch Wallop again last night, so feeling in a bit of form now. Yeah, don't want to talk too soon, but yeah, it was nice. I'm feeling a lot better recently. Had a tough start to the season, but ever since then, I've seen find some form hopefully and come next weekend and the weekend after and the rest of the season, hopefully it'll go quite well. And what's, what's your personal goal, Josh? You're aiming to get back in the ones and cement your place in, in there? Is that yeah, true? definitely, yeah. Get back in the ones, hopefully get out of the batting order, score some runs for them, win a few games. 
or hopefully more in the few, but yeah, definitely mm. that is my goal. And how's it been going for Wiltshire as well, playing county cricket? Yeah, it's been going well. We've won uh, every game we played, I think. Yeah, scoring a few runs and keeping for them, so it's quite... And like we're all mates, so it's an enjoyable day whenever we do go. So, yeah, it's really good. Tom, back to winning ways on Saturday must be a good feeling. Yeah, mate, it's really good. It's about time you got a win on the board. Uh, it's strange what a change in leadership can do to you. So, cousins out for the future, I think. Well, cousins and Ward, Ward's one game as well. <laughs> <laughs> the future's bright by the looks of it. Uh, and obviously, a great knock for yourself, 70. I'm part of a, a match winning partnership between you and Josh. Yeah, mate. It's just like I said, it's nice to get some some runs on the board, but I think it's more important to get the W on the board. Like it's like we, when Josh came out the bat, Josh had a fantastic innings as well. He scored like a chance that's 130 yard. It was mental. But I said to him, mate, you're too good to be here. We need to get a W. It's about time you go and score some runs, to be honest. And he, to be fair, it was chanceless. It was awesome. Alex chipped in. Uh, Cliffy chipped in with a few massive six at the end as well. Hickey fin- finally hit it over long on rather than to him. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, a lot of things to celebrate on the weekend. It was good. Good positive signs. And then finishing it off in the second half with a decent bowling performance. Yeah, it was the dream start, to be honest. Get some runs on the board, then get rained off. So you don't have to feel it's perfect. <laughs> ideal, ideal. So, uh, Josh with the 100, yourself with the 70. You're going to be back on one of these. Weekend roundups with a hundred to, to your name yourself. Well, fingers crossed. Me and Josh were having a bit of a laugh out in the middle. I said, whoever scores the most ones, he is going to end up in the ones. And I said, as soon as he passed me, he just started teeing off then. I couldn't catch him. So, uh, so yeah, fair play to him. And fingers crossed he gets back in the ones. He deserves it. He batted really, really well on the weekends. <laughs> um, six wickets at the weekend. You must be feeling good after Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It was great. I really enjoyed it. So what was the secret? How, how did you uh, turn in such good figures? Uh, I don't know, really. I'm glad everyone hung on to their catches. That's probably got something to do with it. And uh, I just ran in and bowled. That's pretty much all i got to say about <laughs> yeah, No secret. And how's the season been going? We were chatting earlier and kind of coming back from injury. Uh, yeah, I've had a bit of a slow start due to injury, but um, just a few niggles, a few problems. But I'm... Um, almost 100% now so looking forward to the rest of the season that's great to hear so so yeah feeling confident going into into future games hoping to move up those teams is that the aim yeah 100% um, that was the first fourth games I've played this season but I played for them mainly last season so hopefully I'm predominantly playing thirds this season but we'll just see what whatever the captain's feel is right Inesh, positive uh, weekend for you with 50 to your name. How was the innings? Um, it was good uh, for me. I opened the innings um, with Rich and I, I was uh, uh, timing it quite well. <laughs> Unfortunately, after 50, I got out. But yeah, we had quite good score in starting 25 overs, but after that, we had a bit of collapse. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we, it, it, it was against Bathford and they had very good seam bowlers because they were uh, playing um, higher level last year. Right. And and, and they were, they were, I think all, all of the bowlers, what I faced were seam bowlers. They didn't have spin, <laughs> spinner, which I was waiting for for a long time. And I, I got out on, on one of the... Uh, shot, which I always think when I get out that I should have played different shot. Hindsight, <laughs> <laughs> hindsight's a brilliant thing. But yeah, it, I mean, looking at the scorecard, it looked looked quite a tough game, like a, a, quite a one sided game. Was that was that the case? Um, not really. It was not one sided actually. Um, we our bowling attack was quite good with um, Andy and Fryer. They were uh, quite decent bowlers. And other other ballers as well, and although they didn't lose the wickets, but uh, we didn't let them score fast. So they till thirty and thirty five overs. Although it was small, uh, fairly small uh, target, but yeah, we were uh, miss we were missing just some runs, 
uh, while betting otherwise it, it it would have been a much closer game and that's for you personally that's that's a couple of fifties now Are you feeling confident batting <laughs> yeah i started with betting at position number 8 and then slowly came to the opening now so yeah season wise i think i am getting more confidence that i can uh, face uh, new bowlers and opening bowlers it was quite satisfying to hit uh, some boundaries to the opening bowlers it hitting a six for the for their opening baller it was quite quite satisfying trev the return on saturday playing for the six how's the body held up after the weekend yeah very sore mate uh calf sake thigh sake arms sake uh but the rest of the body's all right <laughs> and what a return as well so first game back in not sure how long but straight in there with 100 yeah it went well and you know took a little while for the eyes to adjust but uh um, yeah no it's good it was good fun must be something in the water you and rich must have been talking to each other with his return last week with 100 as well well obviously after we got that last week i had to try and get one better so um yeah i couldn't let him have all the plaudits all season <laughs> and rich did mention last week obviously been able to play with tom um and the same for you this week been able to play with lily that must have been pretty special yeah mate it was very special it's probably the, the best moment in all my cricket you know when you sort of especially with a daughter because you don't expect them to to play but yeah it was uh it didn't last very long unfortunately because i got out but um no it's brilliant really really good brilliant yeah it's fun was that is that give you the burger as a kick on back in the wardrobe now no the kit's gone back in the shed <laughs> uh it's you know it's not it's it's there but only if uh desperate measures are required so so keep looking ahead to this weekend hopefully the weather is a bit more favorable and again six six big games yeah six big games um we have our usual merry go round of players uh, so that's always good fun and made for interesting selection again on monday uh, and we've uh looking at the book which is out next to me there's been changes going on throughout the day today as well and that's before teams are posted so uh yeah we've uh, the, all the fun of the fair again uh but yeah six teams six teams full quota of players and again you know you probably get this every single week but there's some really important games if we look at the first team they've got a game against Taunton Dean uh it was two teams last year that were kind of fighting the the relegation battle to keep themselves into premier 1 uh two really close fixtures so uh that will be an important game at home so for anybody listening please come down and watch and support um the twos this week are playing again against the team that actually we've got to have some really good games against um and that's against Marlborough where we've historically come out on top in games against Marlborough but they're they're a tough team to play against and actually this year they're third in the table so we're eighth they're third um but i'd say we're taking confidence into that game so so that's the twos uh, it would be nice for them to get back to back wins they they've been very close throughout the whole season um in terms of winning games uh, so it would be nice for the twos to to win that one uh, the threes have got a, a a good fixture um a, a very winnable fixture against great bedwin uh, so that's uh, i think it's probably 8th versus 6th or something similar to that so uh, that's a winnable fixture uh the fours have got the big one so whilst they're flying high top of the table uh, they've got so they had you know it was a tough game for them last week against allington uh but they've uh this is the big one for them so they've got swindon now go seconds who i think are joint top with them or they've both won six lost one um so swindon now go be a tough game always tough place to go and play uh so uh yeah let's hope the uh the Pete Lakeland dream team uh, continues um fives have got a real toughy so fives are going against bradford and even twos and as you'll know twos cricket when their ones are higher you know a lot higher up the food chain um you know you get a number of good players into that second 11 so our fives are playing bradford and even twos so that will be a tough encounter um and our sixes play calm threes um which again is one of those games where uh it should be competitive it should be good uh, but there's no reason why we can't get a result out of that one too so um yeah an interesting weekend ahead with a little bit of rain potentially but um fingers crossed we miss it again and continuing the trend for the last couple of weeks any uh chipnam legends rolling out on saturday will we not know that to potentially friday evening saturday morning 
I think a lot of the Chippenham legends have played a game and thought, bugger me, this isn't this isn't for me anymore. Um, so actually, if I talk about the chicken, uh, yes, there is a Chippenham legend. So so one of the guys, Dave Hicks, not with being asked either, he has come forward to say he wants to play on Saturday. So uh, Davey Hicks is, is taken two weeks to get over his fixture, but he's he's back playing. <laughs> Um, so, so he's in one of the teams. I can't say because the teams haven't gone out yet. Um, but he's in one of the teams on Saturday. Uh, Lloydy, after his exploits last weekend, following the Richard Bates show of a hundred odd, um, I think he beat his score, didn't he, by two runs perhaps. I think he, I think he did that and then just fell over. Um, but I think Lloydy's probably having to lie down this weekend. Bates, he's still up or he hasn't recovered. And uh, the guy who came back and it was wonderful to see him on Saturday and I, I and I thoroughly enjoyed his knock. Um, you'll remember this. We played first team together with Paul Clifford and uh, Cliffy was in the twos on Saturday and it was great. Actually, I was sitting next to Charlotte and Charlotte was like, what's he like? Everyone keeps saying, you know, he used to do this that, and the other. And I said, look, Cliffy's an interesting lad. If you ask him what he's going to bowl, he'll say, I'll bowl whatever you want me to do. Leggies, offies, seamers, blah, blah, blah. And batting, you might not think he can do what he can do. Well, Cliffy walked into bat. It was hysterical. There's only about two overs to go. And you thought this could go one of two ways. Either he's going to see it like he always used to see it, like a beach ball, um, or he hasn't picked up a bat in a long time. And this could be quite funny. Um, well, I think off the top of my head, he faced the dot ball first up. Um, the next ball, he moved out to leg side and probably at the biggest six of the season. Um, the next ball he hit, the next ball for six as well, over extra cover. But these were beautiful cricket shots, absolutely stunning cricket shots. And I think he ended up with 26 not out off about seven balls. Um, he got down and did his usual of his little dab over the top of his head. And then he swiveled round and did a reverse sweep for four as well. It was it was Paul Clifford at his best. Um, and it was great to see him play. And he's not available this week. Uh, but we look forward to welcoming him back the following week. So, yeah, a couple of the of the old-timers are still in and around it. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing Lee Ward back on the team sheet too.